Hello, my name is Abraham Lincoln. I was born on February 12, 1809 in a log cabin in Kentucky. My parents were Tom and Nancy. My mom died of a sickness called the milk. That was the beginning of a sad, poor, hard life for me. When my mom died, I had a stepmom named Sarah. I had siblings named Sarah, Thomas Jr., John, Elizabeth, and Matilda. We were performers. <sighs> and the way I helped was being a log splitter, and later on, my dad hired me to help ferry boat passengers on the Ohio River to get money. When I got older, I joined the Army. After that, I bought a store. We didn't have banks back then, so I had to borrow money from the townsfolk. When that didn't work, I became the postmaster. Then later on, I became a deputy county surveyor. I joined the Whig Party, as you know today, the Republican Party, in 1834. I want to be a better politician, so I studied law, and in 1842, I married this beautiful woman named Mary Todd. We had four children named Robert, Eddie, Willie, and Ted. Like most Whigs, I was against slavery. Poor white men could not compete against cheap slave labor. Made it harder to earn a living. I also believe all men are created equal. I became the 16th president on November 6, 1860. I was the first president to live in the White House. I instituted the Secret Service. I was the first president to have a beard. I made a hard decision to fight to prevent the nation from splitting apart. I was an unfaltering commander-in-chief during the Civil War, which preserved the United States into one. My foreign policy was successful in preventing other countries from intervening during America's Civil War. I issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which ended slavery in the United States. I was a strong supporter of the 13th Amendment that formally ended slavery in the United States. The legislation I signed into law included the Homestead Act, the Morrill Act, the National Banking Act, and a bill that charged the first transcontinental railroad. After the slaves were over and after the Civil War was over and the slaves were free, I decided to take my wife to theater. As we were walking down the hall, the theater was playing Hail to the Chief, which was a good song that I admired. As I was watching the theater, an assassin named John Wilkes Booth, who did not agree with my political views, shot the back of my head. I was carried to a nearby boarding school, but by morning, I was gone. I was the first president to be assassinated on April 15th, 1865. Thank you. This speech has been presented by David Aaron Cott, Abraham Lincoln.